Welcome to highlights of the second game of the series from the Mahinda Rajapaksa Stadium in Hambanto. To Big ground, Russell. Fast outfield, slopes away nicely. There should be a lot of runs in this pitch. What's run? Just eased into the gap on the offside from Fernando. Gone. Karna Ratna goes. And the all too familiar march and salute. Sheldon Cottrell. A poor delivery, but an even worse shot from Karna Ratna. Needed to be hit. Maybe reached for it a little bit too much. And just succeeded it in succeeded in hitting it into the man's hand at point who is Fabian Allen. Karna Ratna gone then. He scored just the one, Sri Lanka, nine for one. New man, Kusal Pereira. Another left-hander, replacing a left-hander. Oh, straight away. Straight away, wide, has a go. And he gets a duck, a first ball duck for Kusal Pereira in its 100th ODI. Sri Lanka in trouble. Well, what a turnaround for the West Indies. Full delivery, just a little bit of movement away. And uh, Pereira goes for it. And again, the military send-off. First ball dark, Kusal Pereira. Sri Lanka nine for two. Edge safe. That's racing away. That's the first boundary of the Sri Lankan innings. Goes to Avishka Fernando. But that's a win for Cottrell. He got the edge. That's in the gap. That will run away. There's no stopping that because that, that ball gathers speed. Nicely put away from Mendes. Nicely controlled, that's another four. Again, the length in Mendes's favor. Well, in case he wasn't sure, he should be sure now. That short is not the way to go. Whacked away, too short. He likes to hit the pitch hard and get any movement, early movement from the surface, just a little too short. It's a very good batting surface here. Swings it away on the onside, that's a short delivery, lack of pace allows him to hit it in front. And gets a boundary, really didn't bounce much, and no real pace indeed. So Kusal Mendes just feasting on it. Oh, that's a nice shot. And uh, that should make it all the way to the boundary. Nicely timed on drive, picked his spot. Over pitch delivery on his legs. And... Uh, Put away by Kusal Mendes. That's his 50. A very well played 50 indeed from Abishka Fernando. They'll, they're turning for the second. A very responsible innings because he's not looked to really blast the bowling. Because if you know the nature of Abishka Fernando, go back and take a look at his innings. He's someone who would want to go after the bowling hit boundaries, but here it's a far more mature innings. Whips it away on the onside. Once again, the length allows the batsman to play that shot. And that brings up his half century. And an important innings for Kusal Mendes. Using the length, using the breeze, and of course the open spaces on the leg side. 17.50. He's also got 100. Again. Again, drop kick this time. Wonderful batting here from Mendes. Wings it away behind Squalek. Will get a boundary. Again, that struggle with the line. Mendes on 99. Gets it through. That's 100. Second ODI 100 for Mendes. A wonderful knock. Sri Lanka under pressure when he walked in. He has shown a lot of class.
He gets it. 100 for Arishka Fernando. Of just the 109 balls and six fours. Goes offside again. He gets it well enough. The wind will take it to the boundary. The boundaries are beginning to flow. This is now the highest partnership here for any wicket at this venue. Oh, this one's up. It's an up and under. Hope wants it. Hope takes it. Hope's the one you trust. That's why you put all your hope in him. Well, the Western is finally get a wicket. Took his team out of trouble and finally falls to a top edge. Stayed in the air for a long time, but Hope was never going to drop that. So Kusal Mendes will be a satisfied man as he goes in for 119. It's 248 for three. That's in the gap. That's racing away. Boundary for Pereira. His first one. Clover ball goes leg side. He's got a lot of it. Oh, brilliant hit. He's hit into the wind. Four more to Avishka Fernando. Goes leg side. He's picked that up. No one there. One bounce for 18 off the 40 seconds. Sri Lanka. Racing away. Same again. This time taken. You can just look at the reaction from the West Indian players. No one really happy about it or ecstatic. And the short ball again. This time trying to hit with the wind. And not enough to get it over the boundary. And no mistake this time from Kimo Paul. But the end of an excellent innings and from Avishka Fernando, 127, Sri Lanka 271 for four. Excellent bowling, terrific bowling, Yorker length bowling through the defensive, maybe trying to work a little leg side, but exactly what the West Indies needed. Angela Matthews goes. For one in his 100th match in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka 274 for five. <laughs> what a strike. In the air for a little while, but uh, that will go to the boundary. Not easy to hit boundaries today. And gone. Yeah, we see the salute again. The length is perfect, and it's just clipped the stumps on the way through. So they continue to pick up wickets at the end of the innings, but... Uh... Dan Anjaya De Silva goes for 12, Sri Lanka 303 for 6. Well, big heave again. Yeah, well, it's a slightly muted salute, but it's job done. They have bowled pretty well in these last three or four overs, and they have continued to pick up wickets. De Sarah Pura goes after a slight cameo, 36. Sri Lanka 316 for seven. Slow ball. It was floaty in the end. It just, uh, well, it was a full toss. Played nicely. Just uh, waited for it and find the gap. Heaved away down the ground. Nearly. What an effort, though, from Jason Holder. It will just roll away for four. But you have to say that was a pretty decent effort in the end. It looked like it was going to go for four. In the end, it did. Just, just enough elevation. Great start to the final over. It goes for a boundary. A heave. Uh, might have to have a look and just see. Uh, we'll have a look upstairs. It might be one more. Okay, roll it bit by bit. Bales come off now and bat short. Okay, ready to make my decision. My decision is out. I repeat, out. So, uh, just took a little bit of unravelling, but in the end, decision out. So, not uh, one off the final ball scampered. So, they finish on a, a brilliant score 345 for eight. So, it is uh, a ground. 
and a venue where batting second uh, can be quite helpful, but uh, it's going to take a heck of an effort with the bat. 346 runs required from the 50 overs. Well, they start by needing to score just under seven runs per over. And Pradeep uh, was very good in the first game, as was Jasara Pereira with the new ball. The very much advantage for Lanka. They have two slips in place. Run straight away. Must be a couple of them. If you're just joining us and you haven't watched the first innings of this game, very, very big outfield. Nicely timed this time. Just uh, not looking to try and hit it too hard. Big boundary, but uh, just what they need, just to release a little bit of pressure. down the ground first signs of any aggression from Shea Hope nicely controlled got on top of the bounce as we saw in the first innings with the West Indies not much in this surface for bowling short but seized upon pounced upon so uh, Ambris now six from seven That'll be four more, just helped on its way. We haven't seen too much of that, but the line this time is a little too straight. Just loves it, doesn't he? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Misunderstanding. Brilliant fielding from Angelo Matthews. Threw himself, had the presence of mind to go the bowler's end. Confusion again. We've seen it in the first game. She hope yes, no, yes, no. Really selling Sunil Ambris. Really did turn back. Sunil Ambris, 17 to him, 64 for one. The West Indies. Oh, he's hammered that. That'll be four. Don't bother running, so there won't be any run outs. And that's his 50. That was the great delivery, but he pounced on it. And mind you, this is his eighth 50 plus score in the last 10 innings in Asia. Missed time, it's second at mid on. Angelo Matthews strikes. Again, the lack of pace. And this is a huge wicket. Well, this seemed to hit very low on the bat. Angelo Matthews, he's been bowling for that. Someone to have a slug at him. And she hope just not getting enough bat on that one. Has to go for 51. West Indies now 83 for two. Oh, taken. Taken that slip. And Bari Duhakaranga has struck. Bravo looking to play through mid wicket. I suspect with that to the wrong end. That's definitely the wrong end. But look where his front foot is. If you taken a better stride, he'd have got to the pitch of that delivery and been able to play it. Look to play it off the pitch. And uh, deceived by the wrong end. And uh, has to go for 16. West Indies now 93 for 3. looking shot uh, good work excellent work they were terrific in the field in the first match of the series very athletic yeah you called it time is up in terms of just blocking and uh, hoping for the odd single they need just to start pushing this along one or two good overs just to try and get them back on track gone in the end, the pressure told. It was a terrific delivery, one that cut back sharply. And the wrist spin has been very effective for quite a few overs now. And finally, they get their rewards. As was the Chinaman spinning back into Ruston Chase. A huge gap between bat and pad. And knocking back the pegs, and isn't he happy? Magnificent bowling here 
from the young wrist spinner in the Ruston Chase. Well, he departs for 20. West Indies now slump further, 130 for four. Go on, go on. First ball down. Just didn't read the wrong one. Wanindu Hasaranga. What a massive blow that is. And almost perfectly pitched. Rangan and Pollard uh, playing for the leg break. Comprehensively beaten and bowled. Saranga picks up another wicket. And uh, Kieran Pollard goes without scoring. West Indies now in the deepest of it at 131 for, for five. Hold him straight through the gate. Wasn't picking him. You could see from the very beginning that Jason Holder was not picking him. Wrong and just loving it. More often than not, it's the wrong and that's doing the job for Havanindu Hasaranga. That's his third wicket. Brilliant bowling. Jason Holder. Well, he's gone for three. West Indies slipped further into trouble. 137 for six. Well, he's hit that well. That's four. He's tried that shot a few times, but this one had a little bit of width. And that's hit into the wind, but it's hit nice and flat. And that'll go for four. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Kind of sums up Sri Lanka's day, really, with bat and in the field. They've been absolutely fantastic. Angelo Matthews, roll back the years. He is certainly rolling back the years on the field. If he hasn't got runs with the bat in hand, but take a look at his catch. Made good ground, and that leap, the dive, and the roll. Brilliant work by the veteran as uh, Nicholas Kuran he walks back to 31 West Indies sink even further 158 for 7 inside out and that's a very safe hit and it's gone all the way for 6 it's the first 6 of the match and it comes in the 38th over of the West Indies inning Short delivery, swung away on the leg side. That's a boundary. Jahan Jasuri at short mid wicket, substituting for one into Hasaranga. They want to go down with the fight, the West Indies. Oh, that's a slow delivery. And another one bites the dust. So, uh, Kimo Paul, the latest to go 21 from 27, 184 for eight. Hold him. Wicket number nine, Nuan Pradeep strikes. And uh, it's 184 for nine, over number 39 comes to an end. A little bit of tail, a little bit of drift as well. And in the end, just far too good, knocking out the off stump. So a totally dominant performance from Sri Lanka today. Latest to go, Alzari Joseph without scoring, 184 for nine. He's hammered that. Pereira takes it. Third wicket for Sandakan and Sri Lanka wrap it up. It's a massive win. They win by 162 runs. In terms of runs, it's Sri Lanka's biggest win against the West Indies. 113 at the Providence in 2007. A very dominant performance with the bat setting up this victory. 345 for eight. So confirmation there of the 200s from Avishka Fernando and Kusal Mendes. Chisar Pereira played nicely as well. And in the end, West Indies not in the contest. Bowled out quickly in 39 overs with 184 runs on the board. The wrist spin of Hasaranga and Sandakan proved crucial in the middle overs. So it's Sri Lanka who won by 161 runs. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.